Once a patient has persistent signs and symptoms leading them to seek medical intervention, additional tests are necessary to clearly identify pulmonary arterial hypertension, PAH, from other types of heart and lung diseases with similar symptomology. Diagnostic tests include a chest x-ray, electrocardiography, blood tests, an echocardiogram, a ventilation perfusion scan, and a right heart catheterization. The diagnostic journey begins by gathering data and compiling evidence to uncover a diagnosis. A chest x-ray provides a clue by showing a view of the size and status of the heart and lungs, as will an EKG, which records the electrical activity of the heart. Some causes of PAH are identified through laboratory testing. Blood will be collected to gather additional information. The echocardiogram is a non-invasive, easy-to-administer diagnostic test using ultrasonic waves to investigate how the heart is working. Mm. This procedure estimates the size and function of the chambers of the heart. Patients with PAH often have an enlarged right ventricle, which leaves the typically strong left ventricle with less room to function in the limited pericardial space and may result in a decreased cardiac output. As the clues continue to unfold and other causes of symptoms are ruled out, hmm. a VQ scan may be performed to identify signs of blood clots in the lungs. Hmm. Chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension also known as CTEF, if identified, is the only type of pH which may be cured by surgery. The definitive test for an accurate diagnosis of PAH is the right heart catheterization. During this procedure, a thin, flexible tube called a catheter is inserted into a vein. Imagine the catheter as a sleek bullet train navigating its way through the blood pathways into the chambers of the heart. The lead car has the critical task to obtain pressure readings as it arrives at each station. The first stop is the right atrium where the lead car will collect the right atrial pressure. The catheter train continues to navigate its way through the right ventricle and into the pulmonary artery, another location where a valuable pressure is obtained. After advancing farther into the pulmonary artery, the lead car will read the pulmonary capillary wedge pressure, which is the final pressure needed to complete the right heart catheterization. These key pressure readings, combined with the information discovered on the diagnostic journey, will reveal all the data needed to confirm a diagnosis of pulmonary arterial hypertension. With your physician, support from friends and family, and an increasing number of treatment options available, patients with PAH continue to have a variety of support that may help meet their goals.